Hey, what's up, guys? I'm a YouTuber. So, in 2015, Fox gave us this weird movie called Star Wars, and it was, like, stupid with lasers and robots and shit. And then in 2017, even though nobody asked for it, they gave us an even stupider sequel. They've been spouting this as some kind of trilogy. I don't know why they're bothering, but now it's December 2019, and we finally got the third movie in this pile of horse manure, Return of the Jedi. Well, I'm a YouTuber who talks about movies, so let's talk about this movie. Now, this is going to be hard because... I thought the first two were bad, but this is the worst of all. Like, <laughs> where do I even begin? First, that big tentacle monster in the desert was stupid. It looked dumb. And why did they have to go back to Luke's home planet for this? Couldn't they have come up with a new planet? This was just stupid fan service. Oh, and Luke Skywalker has a green lightsaber because they're just making shit up now. The clearly defined rules where good guys have blue and bad guys have red, that gets thrown out the window because Richard Marquand is an asshole. So they've been talking about Jabba the Hutt and building up this Jabba the Hutt guy for three movies and now when we finally see him he's just a big fat puppet who doesn't do anything. He doesn't even fight anybody. Lame. Oh and Boba Fett's back for like Four minutes. Don't get me started on Boba Fett. They had a chance. They had a chance to redeem this character after the shit show that is The Empire Strikes Back. And somehow, they managed to make him even worse. I'm glad he's dead. I'm, I am just glad he's dead at this point. I don't care anymore. Alright, now this next part makes me really, really upset. So we had that whole cliffhanger ending from the last movie. Now we waited two years, two whole years, to see Luke return and train with Yoda. He made that promise. I'll return. I promise. So now we finally get to see him return to Yoda. And what do we get? Yoda is in one scene and he doesn't do anything. He just lies in bed and dies. That's it. Everybody on the internet wanted to see Yoda fight the Emperor with lightsabers. Everybody wanted that. Instead, they totally disrespected the character and shortchanged him and gave him a lame, glorified cameo with a pointless death that made no sense. He just drops dead because he's old, I guess. He just coughs a bit and he's like, I'm old, time to die now. What the fuck is that? Yoda deserved better. And you can tell that the filmmakers did this just to spite Irvin Kirshner because they're racist anti-Semites. I'm starting a petition on Indiegogo to have this movie stricken from the record so we can get a third film that doesn't push Yoda off to the side. So far, I have 11 signatures. Sign my petition now. Hashtag justice for Yoda. And then... <laughs> Ooh. And then, uh, they have the audacity to throw in this awful last minute twist where Mr. Convenient Ghost shows up and tells Luke Skywalker that Princess Leia has been, wait for it, his twin sister this whole time. Look, George Lucas has done interviews Snippets of which were quoted in BuzzFeed articles that I read once where he said explicitly he never planned to have Leia be Luke's sister. That was not in the cards when he made the first movie. This clearly shows that these guys didn't plan anything in advance. It's so fucking sloppy and it spits in the face of Lakers like me who knew that Luke and Leia were supposed to be together and kiss and have babies. They don't care. They don't care. That's what it comes down to. The filmmakers do not care. Whoever wrote this is, just like Return of the Jedi itself, a piece of shit. So the magic ghost says that the twins... The twins were hidden away from Vader after they were born so that the Emperor couldn't find them. Which means that at some point, Vader had to learn 
that Luke Skywalker was his son. So with that being the case, shouldn't we have gotten a scene in The Empire Strikes Back where Vader learns that information? Isn't that kind of an important character moment for him? And if Vader's so strong in the Force, when he was spending all that time with Princess Leia in the first movie, why didn't he sense, hey, this is my daughter? I'll tell you why, because this twin thing was shoehorned in at the last second and it's the worst idea anybody has ever had. So then we go to the rebel ships and they plan their attack and I'm just like, who the hell are these people, Mon Mothma and Admiral Akbar? We've seen the rebellion in two movies now and we've never seen these two characters before. Clearly the SJWs just shoved them in there so that they could please feminists and people who have octopus fetishes. Oh yeah, and now there's another Death Star. Real original, guys. These are professional writers, okay? Professional writers got paid to make this. And the best they could come up with was a second Death Star that's a little bit bigger than the first one. It's just a rehash of part one, and it sucks. The Emperor. Oh boy, the Emperor. The Emperor is the poster boy for wasted characters. I thought Boba Fett was, but no. The Emperor is the poster boy. The first time you see him, he's just a giant hologram. That's it. Now, we finally get him in person, and all that happens is he just sits in his chair in his stupid throne room, and then they kill him. We never get to learn anything about him, and we never get to see him fight Yoda with a lightsaber. It's garbage. He's an absolute waste. Why did they even bother creating him? Darth Vader should have just been the leader of the Empire from the start. Why did you have to shoehorn in this puppet master if he's not going to do jack shit? Oh, scratch that. He can do one thing. He can shoot lightning from his fingers. Because now, apparently, we're just making up force powers willy-nilly. Stupid. Luke Skywalker is supposed to be a hero. He's a Jedi, and they spat in the face of his character during that final duel with Darth Vader. Because he starts angrily slashing at Vader and chopping off his hand and just attacking him in a fit of rage. Luke Skywalker would never attack in rage. He's had training as a Jedi. He has surpassed all that, and this is the final chapter. So he should be a perfect, flawless hero who never makes mistakes by now. But no, Richard Marquand goes against everything the character stands for and just has him attack Darth Vader in a blind flurry of rage. And why is he so upset? Just because Vader made a comment about his twin sister. A stupid, shoehorned twin sister that he never should have had in the first place. Hashtag not my Luke. If you'd like to join me in sending death threats to Richard Marquand, here's his Twitter handle. So Darth Vader redeems himself, and everything he ever did that was bad is fine now, and he's fine, and he's a good guy, but then he dies. And then, what happens? He shows up as a ghost, because of course he does. Everybody does. Everybody's a ghost in these movies. But here's the thing, his body doesn't disappear. Obi-Wan's does, Yoda's does, that makes sense, fine. They disappear, they become ghosts. Vader's body? stayed right the hell where it dropped. Luke even burned it because he had to do something with it. So how is Vader magically a ghost? There are no rules to this because it's idiotic and it makes no sense and Richard Marquand is the worst human being on the face of the earth. <sighs> so it's the end of your so-called epic trilogy and you're gonna cap it off with a bunch of teddy bear Muppets having a party. That might be the weakest ending I have ever seen in a motion picture. A teddy bear party is not epic. It is the farthest thing from epic. It's like they made this movie for little kids or something. Which would be stupid because little kids cannot appreciate and understand Star Wars like I do. At this point, the only way, the only way they could possibly redeem this dumpster fire of a franchise is this. You get back the original creator, you get back George Lucas, put him behind the camera, and have him do some other kind of trilogy about the backstory of all these characters. Because that's the most interesting part. Who is the Emperor? How did Darth Vader become Darth Vader? What was Obi-Wan Kenobi like when he was younger? Who are Luke and Leia's mother? We never learn her name. 
That is what people want to see. Get George Lucas to make the backstory. I guarantee you it will be a million times better than these three pieces of movie diarrhea. Bottom line, I wanted Avatar 2, but Fox gave me this weak-ass trilogy instead. I hate Star Wars. I hate everyone who ever worked on Star Wars. And if you like Star Wars, you're stupid, and I hate you too. Subscribe to my channel! Hey scumbags, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.